slammed the slashing of concessions in the state budget. Max Fortier spoke to some of them. A cup of tea and some cake as pensioners in Inala raise funds for cancer. But they were less charitable about cuts to their concessions announced in yesterday's state budget. If they're going to take off the pensioners, one day or two, they will be pensioners. And let's hope the same happens to them. I hate the idea that we're going to lose our concessions for our cards, for travel, and for the electricity. The federal government's withdrawal of $54 million from the National Partnership Agreement has left the whole, and extra state funding won't make up the shortfall. Even so, today the state was copying the blame and the opposition was there to lead the outcry. These pensioners out here, these are the real battlers and it's about time that Campbell Newman stepped out into the real world. Maybe a casual bus or train, but outings could soon get harder. They can't go out. They can't afford the fares. Only the transport lobbyists say when the real cost of concession changes are known in October, many will be shocked. We already have some of the dearest fares in the world in South Queensland. To hit concession card holders with a further fare increase of 33% is going to break them. Seniors groups estimate more than 430,000 pensioners will be worse off as a result of the budget. They're urging a rethink from state and federal governments. No going without at the Treasurer's business luncheon today, but Mr Nichols says there is one way the concession cuts won't go through. If the change doesn't happen at a federal level, uh, then of course we won't pass that straight through um, to people here in Queensland. In the meantime, we're going to have to take the Titan Delta Max Butcher, 10 Eyewitness News.